This one's gonna be on GVFS mount. It's uh, what the GUI uh, file manager uses. So most people when they use the command line, they use mount and U mount. But you know when using GUI, they actually use something different, and this is where GVFS comes in. So when you click on something like uh, your drives here. And that's what it's using okay so you mount it and you right click on here unmount right um, so how would you do this from the command line maybe you want to do a script or something like that I wouldn't say you know you normally you do this but if let's say you're scripting and you want to mount and unmount and stuff like that you can do it in here in the terminal so to do this we're going to use well we have to determine which uh, drive is it on and all that okay so I have a USB this is my USB and I want to figure out what is the drive name of that or letter. So to do that, we do sudo fdis-l, and you have different drives, but determine which you know is your drive um, that you have. So the USB is only about four gigs here. So you can see that this one versus this one is six uh, sixty gigs. So this one is four gigs. So I know this one is the USB one. And inside it, they have one uh, volume here, and this one, you know, is SD one here. So to determine, uh, you know, your drive, you just look at this SD uh, for this one, and this one is Dev SD one. This is the volume. So to mount the drives, uh, we're gonna use what was that? Uh, uh, GVFS mount. And we do a dash D for drives, and we do a slash dev SDE1. And you see it's mounted um, that one to our local folder here in the run media, my username, and hell yes, here. So you can see that when you click on this, it's mounted already, right? Now, if you want to unmount it, uh, we have to do a list first. So let's do a list here. Oopsie, let's do dash L here for list. And you see that this one is already uh, mounted at this place here, right? This is our uh, volume name. And so this is our drive here. So we want to unmount this, pretty simple. Just copy this part and uh, do a GVFS. Uh, instead of L, we do, what was that, U for unmount. And we'll paste in that uh, location. And basically unmount it. You can see that it doesn't show that part anymore, right? Before we had that, and once it unmounts it, it goes to our home folder here. So that's how you mount and unmount stuff. And if you want to eject, it's kind of weird, but you have to um, mount it again first. So we mount this sucker, and the only thing you have to do is um, instead of doing U, we put E. E here, and that would um, what was that? Uh, you was that unmount and then eject it, so you can see you don't see it anymore, no right? So that's how you do that. And other stuff you can do in here is GVFS oops, dash H, right? You have some other stuff like you can list out that like we did before we did the eject, we did the unmount, and all that. So that's how you do it from the command line, um, you know, for GUI people, if you want to do that. Not really that exciting here, but um, pretty cool if you want to do it for scripting. That'd be it for this one.